Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Chris. Back with a different type of video. Um, some of you guys know from watching my other videos that I work for a fire department. And um, <clears throat> I've been needing to get my own tools. So I did a bunch of uh, research uh, buying like an axe or whatever. And I came across this product, which is the Bad Axe. It's a gentleman up in, I believe, Washington. That he's a, a firefighter for like 20 years or over 20 years and he developed a different type of tool instead of just an axe and I did a lot of research on this thought it was pretty cool there's another product called the pig which is similar um, well, it's not really similar it's just not a traditional axe like you would uh, have like a sharp end on the end of the axe you know um, this is more of a blunt type tool um, for uh, making access into roofs and whatnot, but it's also got a, several other features that I like. So just to show you what comes in the box, it's very well packaged, comes with a product warning sheet, uh, care and maintenance type instructions. It also comes with uh, two, sorry my fingers, two stickers. Oh, I kind of like that one, that one's pretty cool. Might put it on my truck or something if I like the tool. And then this sticker here. And then, of course, the, the tool itself. And um, there it is. I got mine in red. And they have them in several different colors. But I got mine in red just because I wanted to be able to see it, you know, especially at night. Um, just give me more, you know, more visibility. They do sell it in black, but I think that would be harder to see. And uh, I don't want to misplace this because this thing is not inexpensive. You know, it's over uh, $320. Um, so just by looking at it, uh, the head is steel and it's riveted in. Uh, one thing I don't like is that on this one side, uh, you can see where there's some chips and stuff in the, in the paint. I'm probably going to have to touch that up just so it won't rust. Uh, on the other side, you know, it's actually really clean. So they, so they didn't pound these rivets in from obviously this side, they pounded it in from this side. Um, the handle is uh, anodized aluminum. It's got your hydro wrenches here, two different sizes. Uh, it's got some cutouts for some weight. Uh, the strap that they uh, have included for like a forcible entry tool, like a halogen bar, which would fit in this slot here, which would really make a really low profile set of irons. So it's kind of cool. And then obviously they uh, talk about the bailout device. So here's your uh, carabiner, you know, slot uh, the slot of the tool i think if you went down through some osb and caught it on the edge it'd be a pretty solid anchor um, another few little i'll show you guys some they got some grips machine in the aluminum here i kind of like the the arch of it because uh, i'm a smaller guy i'm not really very big uh, I bought the 30 inch version instead of the 34 inch one and um, this weighs about eight pounds and it's it's pretty heavy it feels feels heavier than a normal axe that we have with like a uh, fiberglass handle or whatever so that's one thing I've noticed that it's pretty heavy if you're gonna be hitting something hard and you got both your hands down here on this grip I mean it would be you're applying some force you better be a good aim um, it's also got the uh, gas line wrench on the top and then the knurled uh, section on the top of this um, I do like the pick oh, sorry I do like the pick head part of it it's um, pretty aggressive I watched some videos of guys enforcing some uh, doors with this and uh, the angle of the pick really allows you to grab hold the door and push it in you know if it's an inward swinging door you got the knurled edge there it kind of grabs the door Obviously, I haven't had a chance to actually play with this yet. I just got it today. Um, one thing I don't like, and I kind of thought about it, you know, as I was going to purchase this, is that this is not fiberglass, you know. So if you get into some electricity inside of a house, you really got to be uh, careful because if you get into a wire, this thing is going to conduct electricity right into you. So that's the one thing I, that I don't like about it. And that was one uh, reason why I almost didn't buy it. But all in all, 
It fits really good, fits me good. I'm only about 5'10", 5 5'9", 5 and this 30 inch version is gonna work great with my uh, truck belt that I just bought. And I'll probably do another video uh, of it and showing how uh, the gear loop matches up. Uh, I bought a Fire Innovations uh, truck belt and uh, they have a tool loop that goes on the belt. Well, I kind of want to see how well it fits this. And I think with this notch here for the rescue device um, and this big pick, it should fit in there pretty nice. Um, just a little look at the head and get it in the light here. As you can see, it's pretty blunt edge. My buddy at work has the pig tool and it's much wider, I mean, and very heavy. Um, he's not really a bigger guy, but he's kind of a freaking nature type guy that's really strong. And um, I didn't know if the pig would be a good tool for me. Uh, this, like I said, it is heavy, it's about eight pounds. And uh, like I said, when I've swung it already, you better uh, be good at it. I'm gonna have to practice with this tool a little bit, but all in all, looks really, really cool. Uh, the craftsmanship's uh, very good. Uh, like I said, the only issue that I don't like is these uh, little areas here where the metal of the head kind of got jacked up by putting these uh, roll pins in. But I'll seam them up and I'll paint it, you know, just to keep corrosion down. So all in all, cool kit. Excuse me. Cool tool. Uh, you guys have any questions, um, please post them. And... Um, like I said, I just got this, so I need some time to kind of play with it and see how I like it. Talk to you guys later.